So let's talk about the sequence command or SEQ. What this command does, it prints a sequence of numbers. So a lot of times you just want to generate a list of numbers for whatever reason. Let me switch over to the terminal. The basic use of SEQ is you do something like SEQ 10 and you get a sequence of numbers one through 10. Now, what if you only wanted the odd numbers in this sequence of one through 10? Well, what you could do is you give sequence three different numbers. You give it a starting range, so say one through 10, and then in the middle you do two, meaning give me every second number. So start at one and then give me every second number all the way to 10. And if I do this, it should be a list of odd numbers because we get one, three, five, seven, nine. We don't obviously get 10 because it didn't fit the criteria of every second number. But if I wanted the even numbers, what I would need to do is instead of starting on one, start on two. And now I get two, four, six, eight, ten. One more example, I could have done something like uh, one through 25, and let's do every third number. And now I get every third number from one all the way to 25. Now there may be an occasion where you don't need the sequence command to output the numbers on each new line. Sometimes you want them all on one line. Maybe you want to separate them with a space or some other character. And you can do that. For example, if I up arrow and repeat the sequence 1, 3, 25, I could give it this flag here, dash S for separator and specify the separator instead of being a new line, I could tell it to be a space. Now if I run that, I get every third character, 1 through 25, all on one line separated by a space. And of course I could change that separator to be anything. I could make the separator space colon space, and now I get that as output. Now one problem you may have sometimes with the sequence command, let me do the sequence of 1 through 10 again. Sometimes you need these numbers formatted to have the same number of digits, meaning instead of 1, I needed this to be 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and then finally 10. So they all have two characters as part of the number, and you could specify this. There is a flag you could use, give sequence dash F for format, and then inside double quotes, give it percent, and then zero to G. And if I do that, you can see now it has added a uh, leading uh, zero to the numbers that did not have two characters. And I could have made that more than two characters, I could have made it four characters, and now we get everything beginning with 0001 all the way to 0010 as the final number. Now if you want the width of the numbers to be the width of the largest number in the sequence, you can just do sequence dash W, and let's do 100. And what this does is because 100 was the largest number, it made everything else have leading zeros to make it also three characters long, so you can see 0, 99, if I scroll up, you get into the single digits, they also begin with 0, 0, 001. So everything is three characters long in that sequence. Now sequence isn't very useful by itself. A lot of times when you use the sequence command, you're going to use it in conjunction with other things. For example, sometimes I want to get a random number from a 1 through 100 for whatever reason. Maybe it's for gaming purposes or you know I'm trying to get a certain random percentage of things. So what I can do is I can run this through the shuff command which is shuffle. So give me a sequence of 1 through 100 and then shuffle the numbers meaning mix them all up and then I could use the head command dash n1 to give me the first number and it gives me a random number from 1 through 100. If I up arrow it will always be a random number. Another trick you guys have seen me do before, I can create a bunch of text files and label them 1 through 5 or 1 through 10 or whatever it happens to be. For example, if I do the touch command and then dollar sign parentheses, so dollar sign parentheses at the shell means run this command, sequence for example 5 and then dot txt because I'll give it that extension. What this is going to do, it's going to run the touch command. It's going to create five files and it's going to name them one through five dot txt. If I hit enter on that and I do a ls, I'm in my home directory, you can see I created five empty files. They're called one dot txt, two dot txt, all the way to five dot txt. Now if you want to learn more about the sequence command, do man seq in the terminal to read the man page.